the 2022 Yamaha TMAX Tech Max has seen a major update during the current year, and Yamaha supporting its wagers on more tech, suspension changes, and ergonomic updates. The Yamaha TMAX has been the class-leading maxi bike for over 20 years presently, furnishing crowds of clients with a helpful, agreeable, and fun approach to getting around huge urban communities. That idea has continued on however, and as Yamaha understood the client base for the bike was developing, so did the bike. The most recent 2022 Yamaha TMAX Tech Max is the aftereffect of this excursion, and it's transformed into somewhat more than just a maxi bike. The main thing you notice about the new TMAX is the more current and smooth styling. The twin headlight design inseparable from the bike remains, in spite of the fact that its peepers are presently observably more modest and highlight an all-LED development. Stripping back the plastic uncovers changes to the frame, engine, suspension, and innovation of the bike, with Yamaha listening hard to the input from the bike's multitude of allies. Furthermore, around 350,000 have been sold beginning around 2001. That is a number that appears to be not really conceivable in the UK, yet go to the south of France, all over Italy, and the majority of Spain, and these things are just about as normal as corner shop bistros. The TFT screen on the bike isn't simply great quality when benchmarked against other maxi scooters. It's conceivably class driving in the cruiser area overall. First off, the screen is extremely large, occupying the greater part of the room over the handlebars. Also, all that you really want to know is remembered for the TFT, with no additional advance notice lights hurriedly stuck as an afterthought. That for one keeps it looking spotless and current, completely lined up with the upsides of the superior maxi scooter. The enormous cover likewise implies you can peruse the scramble constantly, even in the blinding Valencian daylight. It's likewise incredibly cleaned up, with Yamaha sorting out some way to crush in all the information you really want without overcomplicating the plan. Fuel, riding mode, speed, and fires up, it's all entirely clear and exceptionally simple to peruse. The menu's excessively also set up, with a mode button flicking between settings on the right-hand handlebar and a joystick on the left accomplishing practically everything. A wheel makes up the base part of the scramble, with the joystick looking at them to assume you to the position you should be. When there, a thumb in will choose, and all over with change. It's pretty much as basic as. The screen is additionally different for the 2022 bike, with a reconsidered shape that is guaranteed to convey more assurance when out and about. I observed that on its most noteworthy setting I was well covered in an air pocket of Harmony, albeit those a lot taller than my 5.7 casing may simply be over this and require a reseller's exchange redirector. One niggle with a screen, and I in all actuality, do acknowledge I've quite recently referenced how natural and simple to utilize the menus are, is that changing the screen implies you need to peer down and look at certain menus. During the current year the TMAX highlights an expansion in how much damping there is in the forks and rear shock. The essential look plan and arrangement are something similar, in spite of the fact that Yamaha is expressing the new arrangement, ought to give a more responsive and dynamic feel to the bike. The TMAX is considerably more dynamic than you'd anticipate from a 218kg machine that is as long as your couch, and it really intrigued me with its energy to bounce into the pinnacle of a corner. It was a bend riding dream, with smooth and dry streets and twisted mountain streets. That is ordinarily not an opportunity to ride a major maxi scooter. That wasn't true however, as the Yamaha ended up being great at cutting through the open country. The side stand, exhaust, and focus stand all took somewhat of a battering, however the general taking care of dynamic is one that had an enduring effect on me. One extremely slick stunt of this bike is the manner in which you can control the brake, choke, and controlling, squarely in the core of the corner, and it truly doesn't steam the bike. There is no dark enchantment at work here, everything revolves around the skeleton and tires, however it causes what to appear to be absolutely unflappable, and very amazing. I realize there isn't a maker from Aprilia to Zance that will allude to its items as something besides calling them premium. Truly however, not that a considerable lot of them really are. 
The T-Max then again has a quality vibe to it, from the material matte completions to the super spotless castings utilized for the handlebars and traveler get rails, you get the impression it's assembled. I'd likewise say that the degree of spec you get with the bike is additionally extremely premium. There is that splendid TFT first of all, warm grasps and rider and front seats, Bluetooth availability, a USB port, electrically flexible screen. At the point when you see it like that, it has all of the toys and some more that you'd find on a top class pounds 20k Turing machine. As under seat capacity compartments go, I don't think the T-Max is close to the highest rated spot. The marginally more modest Honda ATV 350 has a more huge region to stash your unit, albeit the T-Max will in any extra case take a cover with space. Assuming that you needed somewhat more space, there is a sizable top box on offer as an additional one. It's large enough for two full face tops, and even COM8.S with variety matched supplements, to keep the entire thing looking great. There were three places of note here, with the first being the seat. Refreshed during the current year, the roost on the Yamaha T-Max Tech Max is incredibly great. It's basically as extensive as any of the most recent age of regular super sightseers and comes furnished with warming components and an extremely enormous pillion roost. The snatch rails are likewise well found and inside simple reach. For those like me that are a little short in the leg, you may, similar to me, track down level balance somewhat of a battle. At 510 it was more straightforward to lead at the lights with my left leg on the deck, albeit the genuinely wide position of the T-Max implied I was inclining it over a fair piece to arrive. Not a gigantic issue, but rather an interesting point. 